Good morning, everyone. It's Rifkel. I'm here playing some more Pokemon Reborn. And after the last couple videos of puzzles, I'm actually thinking I'm going to take a quick break from Victory Road to do some cleanup before I change my team out. This team has been serving me pretty well uh, throughout this last section, but I want to make sure that we keep rotating people out. Um, you know, this team has gotten a really good chance to shine. We've got a long way to go still on Victory Road, lots of fights left, and I think it'd be good to, to mix up things up a bit. I think we've got enough um, enough coverage that we can, or enough uh, shortcuts unlocked that we can get back to where we are pretty quickly. So we're going to dig our way out. And while I, I said we're switching our team up, we're actually going a little further than that. And we're going to do some uh, cleanup in earlier areas in the process of this. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to be using some of these other ones, but I, I missed a couple Pokemon that, when I was doing some of the backtracking. You know, our, our, our Pokedex is incomplete. And it will remain incomplete until we get to post game because I accidentally killed a soul rock like 100 episodes ago. Um, <laughs> that's the only soul rock you get until post game. Um, but my thought here was this feels like a good time. We're going to go ahead and just pull our team. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab a couple Pokemon for now that are good for catching. Let's see. And maybe a couple Pokemon that we just haven't used that much. Um, had a thought and it is gone. Like, at this point, we've got, like, levels are pretty much not an issue for our Pokemon. Uh, I did a pretty good grind, so it doesn't matter who we use in that uh, regard. But we've got a bunch of Pokemon that I haven't used that much yet. Um, I do have a few in particular that I'm going to be planning on using when we go back to like this isn't the team we're bringing into um this is not the team we're going to be bringing into victory road with us again this is just a team We're going to go ahead and use Magnetic Lure on Megatron. And I'm going to be happy with this for now. I don't know if we're actually going to be fighting that much to start with, but that's fine. So the first thing we're going to do is head back to Labrador City. Uh, there's apparently something I missed here that feels like it would be relevant to my interests. In particular, I have a specific Pokemon that I have not been able to do uh, to utilize to the fullest of its abilities yet. And when we got to this part earlier, I was rushing a bit. And I think, let's see if I'm 
reading this right. I think this is where we miss or what we missed. Nope. Maybe it's not. Basically, during this sequence with the like convoluted dark tunnels, we missed something. Shocking. Um <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and actually can we use the flash doesn't actually do anything. Good to know. I hope we that this isn't like a permanent miss. It said something about talking to the computers. Um That's it. Small port on the front is exposed. Do we need like a computer? Oh, that's why I missed it. Because we need a computer chip thing. Okay. Remind me where we buy those. Data chip. So, that actually makes a lot more sense. Like, I was trying to figure out why I missed this, and I figured I was just panicking at the time, because this was in the middle of all these fights, and I knew that we had the big pulse fight coming. Um, but it's not. That is not the case. Um, so actually, we're going to go to Barrel Ward? No. Uh, Lapis. This is actually going to let us do another thing while we're down here anyway, so that works out. Probably not the most efficient because we're going to have to go down here twice, but whatever. Head down to 7th Street. I'm not sure which salesman sells what. Those are good moves. Um... <laughs> This is one of the guys we're looking for. There's our soul candle. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and buy two of these just in case. I accidentally bought three, but I think that's okay. And I'm going to buy one extra stick. Um, the note I have for myself said that we needed these a while ago. these. I don't think we need that many. Better safe than sorry. Can I fly here? Hmm. 
<laughs> Making me walk places, how dare they? So I totally brushed this off at the time, not realizing you needed the data chip. This is going to make a huge difference for one of our characters. Because it's going to give us access to another megastone. Um, did that do something? I think it did... I th I'm guessing it's going to open this path. Supposed to be a shortcut somewhere that that unlocks. can see why I didn't get this last time. So now is this unlocked? This is a path. Go up here. Unlock the shortcut. Get Charizard art. Y. Um, this is going to give us access to... We got Charizard Y. And the reason this is particularly important is because... Charizard, we currently have Charizard X, uh, which makes Charizard into a fire dragon type with high physical attack. Um, but what we just did... actually gives us access to... the much stronger version of Charizard, uh, Mega Charizard Y. Mega Charizard Y has the Drought ability and extremely high special attack. the next fun of trying to remember how Eolia Valley works. There's a waterfall right there. Awesome. This is going to get us a dark material. Um, this is an unrelated quest to what we were just doing. But it's one of the things that I missed, um, because I didn't... Honestly, it's because I didn't remember where Aeoli Valley was <laughs> while I was doing my uh, my downtime. Uh, my stuff in between uh, videos. Um, 
Oop. We are going to need to use a repel here because this is getting ridiculous already. Actually, let's do... should just help keep things away. Um, I'm gonna see if I can vaguely remember where I'm going here. Because we need to get back to Luna's gym. <laughs> um, I think it was down here. There's U-turn. That's actually good. That's we're heading the right way. Uh, the last time we went here, we didn't have surf or waterfall. Um, I don't believe. So that's why this is so. That's why this is important. Um, want to say it's this way? I might be wrong. I think I'm wrong. Actually, it might be right back at the beginning. And I'm done. I think that's true. <laughs> so I think there was a shortcut to it. Let's go back to Van Hanen quick. Taking it back, we're going to go ahead and use a repel because the incense is not as good. Which I think that's what I'm spending the rest of my money on, too. So if I'm remembering right. Second dark material. Uh, these dark materials are going to give us access to another Pokemon that we haven't been able to catch yet. Uh, not a whole Pokemon line we haven't been able to catch yet. Um, we've got a bunch. We have most of the Pokemon. Like I said, we can't finish the decks, so I'm not going to try. But there are a couple other ones that I just want to get out of the way. Um, we're going to head back to Lapis Ward. Back down into 7th Street. And I need to remember where the Sanctum is. Is that here? I feel like... It was one of those, like, little obvious side paths.
Well, that was promising. I'm hoping that I'm not misremembering this and that we actually have access to it. That's the lab. Maybe it is up here. Under the wall. That actually would make sense. There we go. So this is the Sanctum. The Arceus Sanctum. Um... think okay so i think we go back one or to the place where there was like the stump section originally so i don't think we've been back here the sanctum key opened the door that is exactly what we needed that gets us our last dark material and some candy you know like you do Oh! That's where you get the code for the book. Uh, for the library. Cool. Now, we're gonna go... The soul candle and the three pieces of dark material are going to allow us to summon Dino. You know? Dragon's a good Pokemon, and uh, it's one we don't have. We fought against a couple of them now, and I just wanted to get one. <laughs> Plus, it's something we're missing. Um, there we go. Charizard at Y. Three Dark Materials and Dino. Um, let's see here. We're gonna try, or we're gonna grab, I think, one more thing here, quick. Before we get trained back up, and, or get our new Pokemon trained up. Um. This is another area that has rock climb that we just hadn't gone back to yet. Takes us to the back of Technite Ridge. Okay. Crystal's light flickers dimly. 
Oh, is this one of those where we have to use the... Hold, please. One eternity later. Oh, thank God. So this is one of those rooms where you have to change the type of the room by getting into a fight. Which means if you have just used a... Uh, repel, especially a max repel, you have to sit there until it is done. This is going to give us the Catching Charm Ruby, which increases our catching rate for Pokemon in general, which is awesome. But it also is going to give us... a fight. <laughs> um... So this is not a catchable Pokemon, you could tell because it said it, it treated it like a trainer bat. Um, which means the good news is we can kill it. We don't have to hold back. The bad news is that that right there, that's a level 100 Volcarona. And it is setting up Quiver Dance, and we are making a mistake by not just uh, by not killing it. Apparently, it has a Citrus Berry. It is now faster than us because it is very fast with Quiver Dance set up. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and send Jules RM in. Let's get Sandstream, and then we're gonna Earthquake. That was a mistake. It just full healed. I did not think that one through. There we go. Uh, I gave Megatron the rock memory just to give it that extra edge. It's going to flee. is our reward, Larvesta, which is the base form of Volcarona. Uh, Volcarona is one of my personal favorite. Um, I'm not sure that we're going to be using it here, but we don't have one yet. I wanted to get the... Uh, it's got double edge that's annoying um i wanted to get it it's one of the pokemon we don't have this gives us that uh a couple more pokedex entries um gives us that extra catching charm which apparently we were missing uh, i think there's still a couple other po uh catching charms out there that we can get as well that'll help uh with our catch rates which is definitely going to be valuable as we get into the uh, post-game. Catching legendaries is... Uh, is a lot. <laughs> Ability capsule.
so yeah, that kind of a little break in the action from Victory Road here, just to get some some goodies. Um. Charizardite Y is going to make uh, Drew a lot more uh, a lot more powerful. Um, namely, that means that they get Solar Beam instantly, which is really powerful. Again, um, and just get the Mega Boost. Plus, it sets. Some which means we can use Pokemon with Chlorophyll or other solar-powered Pokemon um, to just get that extra little boost. Uh, and it, being able to set sun also gives us another way to, uh, to cancel weather, which is awesome. Um, and then we've got... Uh, I have a plan for getting a Hydreigon and... Like I said, their fest is not going to be one that we're going to use right away, but we'll definitely be going in the in box eight, the to use box. <laughs> um, so I think that's where we're going to wrap up for now. Um, when we come back, I will be back right where we started this video. Um, it's pretty easy to get back. I I did a test run before I warped out <laughs> just to make sure I could get back there um and um yeah I think that we're gonna be I'm, I'm gonna put together a new team like I said we're gonna be using uh at least Drew uh I may actually put this uh Dino to good use uh during this process as well um and yeah see what happens next like i said just wanted to do a little bit of catching uh next time we're going to take on i believe two or three spirits before we get to another big puzzle section so hopefully you're still enjoying if you are please give me a like and subscribe check out the other content on my channel if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comments and as always have a good one we'll catch you next time